Hello everyone, since you clicked on this video, I'm going to be assuming that you are facing a problem where your model is clearly within the Roblox UGC size boundaries, but for some reason, when you try to save it onto Roblox, uh, Roblox says it is still outside of the Roblox UGC boundaries limit, like that which also mean that you are probably facing another problem where every time you convert your model into an accessory, it grows a thousand times bigger than its original size. Well, worry no more, because the reason why you're facing all these problems is because you're exporting your model into FBX, which is not the most desirable file for your Roblox UGC. So instead, you should be exporting them into OBJ. But before doing so, you should get a Roblox character template to properly position and size your model in a way that you want it to be worn. If you want this template, I will be linking the file down below the description for downloads. Then you should export it into OBJ and remember to pick selection only uh, to avoid also exporting the Roblox character itself. After successfully exporting your model, you can import your model right here. The size of the model will be perfectly fine, but you will realize that the center point of this model is oddly off, but it is supposed to be that way, because then you can position your model properly on this character, on this rig. And to do that, you have to make the center point in the center of this uh, rig's bottom feet. And after that, uh, this blue arrow right here should be half into the ground, like this. And now you have a perfectly scaled and positioned model for UGC. And now let's convert the model into an accessory. Also, I will be linking down this for installing in the description down below, which this is for creating your accessory. And this is to check if your UGC is uh, within the size boundaries. After you successfully convert your model into a wearable accessory, you can go ahead and check if it is within the size boundaries. If so, you can right click this accessory and save to Roblox. And there you go. Congratulations. You have your own custom Roblox accessory.